हेलो गाइस एंड वेलकम टू भोला मैकटेक आई एम चेतन भोला एंड आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू द ब्रेक बूस्टर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस व्हाट इज ब्रेक बूस्टर व्हाई वी रिक्वायर द ब्रेक बूस्टर एंड हाउ इट फंक्शंस अगर आप ये वीडियो हिंदी में देखना चाहते हैं तो अगले साल जो इस वीडियो को हिंदी में भी पब्लिश करूंगा आप इस वीडियो को जब भी देख सकते हैं सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज ब्रेक बूस्टर सो ब्रेक बूस्टर इज अ डिवाइस दैट विल रिड्यूस योर एफर्ट्स ऑन द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ द फोर्स ऑन द ब्रेक पैडल सो व्हाई वी रिक्वायर दिस ब्रेक बूस्टर इज बिकॉज in heavy vehicles due to their weight their inertia force is very much higher at the time of braking uh, the huge amount of force is required to stop these vehicles for the application of that much amount of force this is quite impossible or very less possible for you to exert that much force on the pedal that you can stop those vehicles without this brake booster so at that time you need to amplify your force so that you can easily stop those vehicles let's take an example if you are riding a bicycle then you are applying some brake then this is quite easier to apply this these brake because the weight of that bicycle is not that much high so but in case of uh, some bikes now you are using disc brakes hydraulic brakes so that's that is the reason why you are using these hydraulic brakes so that you can apply that much amount of force but in case of cars so you need to do some things that can amplify your force and uh, so that you can stop those vehicles so in that case you need this brake booster Let's talk about what are the components of this brake booster so this is the basic diagram of the brake booster i am going to explain you so first of all this is the brake pedal on which you are going to apply the force then there is a valve rod and this is the dust boot so that the dust doesn't enter inside this brake booster then there is an air filter that will filter the air that is going to enter in this brake booster now this is a poppet valve and uh, this is a valve return spring so that th this push rod can come back and uh, this is the valve plunger that is that is going to transmit this force from here to this uh, push rod then there is a diaphragm diaphragm is a flexible material that is uh, a flexible membrane uh, so that uh, this uh, uh, diaphragm plate can move in this axial direction then this is a diaphragm plate that is going to transfer the force from uh, this side to this tmc push rod then there is a front shell and the rear shell this is the these are two shells that are going to make the whole brake booster and uh, this is the vacuum check valve in which the vacuum is through which the vacuum is created inside this brake booster then this is the tmc push rod uh, this is the tmc that i have explained in my earlier video you can please watch those videos also and this is the uh, diaphragm return spring that is going to uh, act when this diaphragm is uh, in this direction so this will try to move this diaphragm in the backward direction now this is the tmc and these are the brake lines so i think this diagram is clear to you what is the initial case initial situation of this brake booster this is the vacuum check valve which will be connected to the intake manifold of the engine because in the intake manifold at the time of the suction the negative pressure is created inside the intake manifold due to which it uh, sucks the air fuel mixture from the intake manifold now if we connect that intake manifold to this vac uh, vacuum check valve then the suction created inside the intake manifold will be also applied to this uh, vacuum check valve so the suction so we are using that suction of the piston going down uh, over here in this chamber so due to that suction the vacuum will be created inside this chamber uh, this side of the brake booster but on uh, this side of the brake booster the this is the completely packed surface uh, packed chamber until this uh, push rod is uh, in the initial state these are the two ports uh, from which air can enter inside this uh, this chamber uh, but only when this uh, push rod will be displaced so i think this uh, initial condition is almost understood to you so let's talk how it works so when you apply the force on this brake pedal so this force travel through this uh, pedal and uh, then this force travel through this valve rod and due to which uh, this valve rod displaces so this valve rod will displace and come to this uh, secondary position now when, when this uh, valve rod has moved to the secondary position now the air can move inside this and uh, this side of the chamber is at atmospheric pressure at this moment so this is at atmospheric pressure and this is at vacuum vacuum pressure or uh, negative pressure 
so at this time due to the higher pressure at this chamber so this will try to exert some force on this diaphragm at this at uh, like this and this diaphragm will try to move in this direction and uh, so this will be moving in this direction and which will uh, be exerting some force on this push rod which will move in this direction so the main motive of applying brake that is applying the force on the push rod of the TMC is achieved over here and the force that you are exerting will be uh, will be amplified by the vacuum of the engine and that vacuum force will be providing this displacement in the push rod of the TMC so at this time the main motive of applying brake is achieved and when you release the brake this pedal will try to move at this position because of this spring that spring will expand and uh, will move this uh, push rod to the uh, initial position again and then the again this uh, ag uh, and then again the valve will close and uh, this will come to the normal pressure and uh, again the vacuum force will be applied over here and uh, this spring will again expand the this uh, diaphragm spring will again expand due to which this uh, diaphragm will will all, uh, try to come in its initial position due to which the air from this chamber will try to move outward and then again the brake booster will come to its initial position so in this way the small force applied by you then the force applied by this vacuum of the engine these both of these forces combinedly apply the force on the push rod of the TMC and hence your force is amplified and hence the main motive of application of the force on the push rod is achieved so I think this is clear to you if you still have any doubts in any queries please feel free to ask me in the comment section below if you didn't subscribe my channel yet please 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 subscribe it at this moment and please don't forget to share this video to your friends so that they can also understand what brake booster is so thanks a lot guys for watching my video keep watching keep sharing and keep supporting guys thanks a lot